What's better than an electric scooter you can ride 10 miles an hour all over town? An electric scooter you can ride 20 miles an hour. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Our first story on deck today comes courtesy of a company called Eco Rico, thanks to the release of their new M3 scooter. And you know what? This M3 kind of reminds me of BMW's M3 because it's an absolute rocket compared to other scooters. The Eco Rico will travel up to 20 miles at up to 20 miles an hour. Now, you can tune it down to limit the top speed to like seven and a half or 12 miles an hour, but why would you do that? Frankly, I'm waiting for the model that goes 40. So what's the damage you might ask? $1,000. Sure, you could buy a $220 Razor E300 instead, but it weighs a whopping 46 pounds, it doesn't fold up, top speed is maybe 15, and the battery's only good for like maybe 10 miles. The M3 by comparison weighs just 34 pounds and it'll fold down small enough to put several of them in a trunk. The M3 offers an anti-jerk accelerator so you can start things smoothly and without fear. And it also comes with a beautiful LED dashboard that'll put some cars to shame. And let's talk about the battery. The Eco Rico also uses a special lithium iron phosphate battery, which is lighter, more powerful, and safer than those cheap kitty scooter lead acid batteries. It fully charges in just over four hours, and let's face it, you're not likely to be completely dead anyway. Plus, the battery is designed to last over 2,000 charge cycles. That's nearly 10 times as long as one of those cheap razors. And that's assuming you really manage their battery and follow the charge instructions completely. By the way, Eco Rico says the brushless hub motor lets you still use the M3 like a regular scooter without any drag in case you're compelled to propel it manually. Best of all, they're actually sending me one to review. Apparently, they haven't seen the video of me driving the vet last weekend. Dips. But anyway, I'll definitely be doing a complete video review of the Eco Rico as soon as it arrives, so stay tuned for the follow-up. And speaking of Marines driving cars, how about Marines not driving cars? The US Marine Corps just released a video of a new self-driving Jeep-like thingy. They've been conducting week-long tests of vehicles that can help carry gear alongside troops, and from the looks of it, this system is able to pretty much track and follow people without running over them. Always a good thing. You can check out the entire video at geekme.tv forward slash 887. <laughs> I gotta switch shaving creams. I'm getting no protection. What kind do you use? Whatever you get. I don't know about you guys, but this morning I got my shave on with an executive from Dollar Shave Club, and it really seems to have done the trick. Ooh, John P. Ooh, John P. See what I mean? You can get your shave on with Dollar Shave Club starting at, yeah. One dollar a month for the humble twin. Or you can upgrade to the 4X or the executive for just six or nine dollars a month. I mean, you're just being totally ridiculous. Rub some butter on that mug to smooth things out while you're at it. Why are you buttering your face? I'm shaving with it. Oh, Moses, smell the roses. Shave butter. Safe for sensitive skin. 100% satisfaction guarantee. And for those difficult mornings after a long night of eating spicy Mexican food. Uh, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Try some soothing relief with One Wipe Charlie's. Aloe vera and chamomile calm things down and it leaves a fresh peppermint scent. Head on over to dollarshaveclub.com forward slash geekbeat and don't forget the geekbeat at the end. It makes everything smoother. Okay, when was the last time you were so tired that you laid down in bed and then realized you forgot to turn off the lights? It happens, and it drives me mad. That's what wives are for. <laughs> well, no more, I say. A new Kickstarter called VOCA aims to save us from ourselves with the voice-activated light switch. It's actually a fantastic idea, but honestly, it was our Kickstarter video that sold me. I 
was with my wife in bed getting ready to say goodnight but then began the argument she's going to get up to turn off the light that's when i had an idea before things got out of hand what if i could speak to the light and it would understand yeah i pledged at the top level for the six pack of pros you can get the Kickstarter link and watch the whole video at geekme.tv forward slash 887. Finally, if you happen to notice the sweet new tee, no, it's not a new Geek Beat design. This bad boy comes courtesy of viewer and patron, Captain Dr. Tim Kirk. Yeah, he just retired as captain, but he's also just getting his PhD, so now we'll just have to call him Captain Doctor. Anyway, thanks to Captain Dr. Kirk for the tea. If you dig it, maybe we can talk them into letting some other folks order one. I don't know. Tweet us or leave a comment or something if you want one. That's it for today's show. I would make Dave beam me out of here. But he said all the beaming is now restricted to the transporter room up at the front of the Geek House, so oh well. I'm John P. Nanu Nanu. How was that done? Nanu Nanu Nanu? I, I don't remember. Until next week. Nanu Nanu. Nanu.